Let's do it. <laughs> Did I scare you? Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my October favourites. I didn't do a September one um, because throughout September there wasn't anything that I really thought I should be talking about or introducing to you guys and yeah, I just didn't do a video because there wasn't much to talk about but this October I have a few new products um, that I have been liking and I would like to share with you all. Before I start talking about the um, products, um, Coco is sat right next to me refusing to move so I'm sorry if she's going to be distracting but she just um, da -da. yeah she just refuses to move and she just wants to sit next to me and um, whilst I film this video so I'm just going to let her sit there so the first product I want to talk about is the Etude House or Etude House and um, Fresh Cherry Tint and it's a bit like a lip cream and I thought it was going to be quite a watery tint but when it came I was quite surprised um, it's kind of like a lip cream and it really reminds me of um, the NYX um, matte lip creams and also the collection 2000 um, creme puffs. It's really similar in consistency and texture and also really reminds me of those every time I apply this. And I think it's a really nice tint because it lasts for ages, like literally this will last on my lips for an entire day even though I eat and I drink and I brush my teeth and wash my face by the end of the night my lips are still quite rosy so that's a really nice um, tint it's fairly inexpensive as well, I believe it's about £8 and yeah I think it's just a really nice tint I'm not really kind of a tint kind of girl because I always find that they are quite watery and that they don't really do much to the lips but this is a little bit different and I do like this one and the next product I want to talk about is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara which is teeny tiny and I've actually done a review of this on my blog so if you want to see the review then head over to my blog which is stylesusie.com and you'll be able to see the review there and the wand is super tiny obviously um, because it's designed for the bottom lashes so it's really good especially for Asian lashes as well which tend to be um, kind of short it's good for um, getting really into the roots and just making them look nice and you also don't get that um, smudge, smudgy mascara at the bottom because this lasts and lasts forever like literally even if I cry even if I'm watching a movie and I start tearing up and I just let it all out it still stays put and it doesn't smudge at all so yeah Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara a really good um, beauty product that I've been using for the past couple of months so I've been really into makeup brushes lately I've been trying to find brushes that I haven't used before and that I might end up liking and I came across this one which is the foundation brush by Shiseido and I'm not sure what number it is I think it's number 131 because it was on the packaging and I've actually thrown the packaging away but it's kind of this like slanted really dense um, just flat cut off top foundation brush and it is quite small because like if you look at the size of my hand and then look at the, this brush it's quite short, it's a short handle one and I would actually say it's the size of kind of like a MAC holiday collection um, brush and what I like to use this is for contouring with liquid foundation so I apply a darker foundation and then I use it to blend and contour into these areas around the chin, around the temples and it just does a really good job at blending and it just keeps the product exactly where you want it so you don't over blend at all and yeah I just really like it and I like how small the handle is, it's great for travelling so the next product is the Elemis White Flowers Eye and Lip Makeup Remover which is designed to even um, take off waterproof eye makeup and I think this is so good Obviously I've been using it, um, it's fairly new, I've used it for about two weeks and I like it because it's really gentle even though it's an oil based. I think that oil based um, eye makeup removers are the best just because it gets away all the um, tricky mascara bits and especially if you have a mascara that's really hard to remove then you definitely want to go for an oil um, makeup remover and it's really gentle on the eyes, it doesn't pull, it doesn't tug and it does a really great job and yeah I just really like it. The next product is actually a home fragrance and it's by Neom um, Luxury Organics 
and it's a organic room mist and it's it's called refresh and I just absolutely love this scent I've been spraying it around the house actually not not just in the rooms even in the toilets and it just smells of um really spicy lemons and it's kind of um festive it, it really reminds me of like the festive holiday season so that's why I especially like it right now and it is pretty expensive but as you can see I've only used a tiny bit um, even though I spray it quite a lot so it does last and the smell and the fragrance oh my god it just lasts the entire day so even if you spray it in the morning you'll still be able to smell it at night and I especially like to spray it on my bed because it makes the bed sheet smell really nice and really spicy and lemony and yeah I just think that these roommates are really good final products that I have been loving this month is the Diamond the um, Fit Mask and it's a Korean brand called Mask House and I'm sure you might have seen this because this product gets a lot of reviews and it gets a lot of hype and what you basically do is um, you get five sheets of masks and then you put the um, masks on your chin, on your jawline and then you get this kind of like a you get a tape measurer because that's how confident that they think it's going to work and you get um, this mask which is quite scary looking I'm not going to lie once it's on do not head out or do not let anyone see you because you will scare the living crap out of people but um, yeah it's um, designed to help well apparently make your face more fee so more slimmer but I haven't really noticed that it's made my face more fee. I've noticed that my um, skin around here feels tighter and more taut. And I do think it's helped um, with decreasing the um, toxins and... <coughs> it's only... So I do this mask every other night. And you only get five in one pack and five last you for 10 days so it it can get pretty pricey because you do need to do it for one month before you can see any results and then after that you need to keep continuing to do it and um yeah it can get pretty pricey i think this is about 20 20 something pounds for a pack which lasts you for 10 days and then you've got to keep buying and buying and this is my fourth pack Yes, I've been doing this for an entire month now and I actually I actually can see the difference myself. I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference, but my jaw seems more I'm not sure how to describe it, like I feel like it's less less saggy. Ugh, is saggy the word to use? That sounds really bad. But um I think it looks more defined, um that's the word, more defined. Um, that sounds better than saggy but yeah I would recommend this to anyone who wants to give it a go it is pricey but I do think it's worth it because I do think it works and the only thing that's bad about this is that the face mask once it's on your face will literally feel like it's burning and um, good job I did um, some research before I purchased this product and I knew exactly what to expect and from reading other reviews I knew that it was kind of like a burning sensation if I had not read reviews and put this on my face I would have taken it off immediately because I would have thought my skin was having a reaction but I think that's just the way it is and that's the way it works on your skin I guess and um, so yeah definitely take that into consideration so if you have quite sensitive skin and you don't like burning feelings or you think it might irritate your skin then definitely do give it a miss but yeah so I'm going to talk about two products that I bought um, for in the last two months and I think that they are absolutely crap um, I'm just going to get straight to the point and there's no point beating them on the bush um, this is the Rimmel Exaggerate Undercover Shadow Primer which is essentially an eyeshadow primer it is inexpensive so I don't feel like I've been robbed that that much but um, I do feel like I've been ripped off because this essentially does nada it does nothing 
like it doesn't make your eyeshadow last longer it doesn't make it more vibrant it doesn't even up your skin tone I just don't see the point in this and it's just rubbish like I don't even want to describe it because all I can say is it's rubbish secondly I purchased a beauty blender um, a good few months ago now um, I'm sure you've all seen me use it in a couple of tutorials you know when I posted my beauty blender on Instagram um, a lot of tweeters and twitterers um, tweeted me and told me to try out the models own one um, which is from Boots because it's only £8 and you get two in a pack so I headed down to Boots um, a couple of weeks ago and I picked up these um, models own kind of like a beauty blender replica it's called makeup blending sponges and these are the worst things ever I know that a lot of people like them but for me I just don't think they work on me I can't get them to work they're really really dense and hard like the beauty blender is quite soft and I actually use a lot of warm water to try and expand it make it a little bit more softer make it a bit more um, workable but yeah it just wasn't happening and I felt like I was putting this big hard sponge on my face which wasn't doing anything and um, the pink one actually is a lot softer than the orange one but they're still really poor in quality and I think I'm just going to stick to my beauty blender from now on so thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed my video, hope you all had a great Halloween and bonfire night and I'll see you in my next video, bye! Say bye Coco! Bye!